Hi there, BrickNut30 here. Uh, just a quick little update. So I did the review on that set earlier. Um, yeah, uh, I've got all those drawers filled, which I bought, and I've got a third one somewhere. And I've actually managed to lose a big green set of drawers like that. I can't find it. I remember the other day I had it over there to fill the drawers up, so I emptied some more of these, and now it just seems to have gone puff into thin air. No, it hasn't. It's up there. I'm having a bit of a dirt moment, it seems. So, I'm going to put that over there. Yes, yeah, so I've got all those drawers thinned out, hence the space up the top there. So those are all empty. Um, I don't think I've got any other drawers up here that I need to thin out. Not yet. Uh, one thing I have forgotten about that I did want to get another set of those ones. <coughs> Excuse me. So I could thin out the um, plates drawers at least. Uh, I can't remember what the price of those are over here. I think it's five, five ninety nine. And um, we'll have to see what cash I've got left over Thursday. I think. Uh, haven't managed to buy a set for a while. Well, I could have, but uh, I got sidetracked with my Mega Drive over there. So, oopsie. Never mind. Plenty of time to buy Lego. Um. So yeah, I haven't really been doing much with Lego because I've been busy. Uh, as you can see, I have cleared the desk and got those drawers sorted. One thing I like about these drawers is that they stack really easily, as you can see. So you can easily have a work table set up like this and they just stack perfectly at the back there. I can't stack them any higher because uh, they won't go on the top there. The gaps gap between the top of these drawers and the shelf isn't big enough. Uh, I've been collecting up some wood in case I decide to build a new table in here because as I've said in previous update videos I want to build or want to get taller tables in here so at least with these bigger sets of drawers I could stack them under the table. And uh, then I'd have a complete work area set up here. Uh, yeah, I think that's, that's the plan. If one of these days I'll remember to uh, perhaps look on the Argos website or something and see if they've got any suitable flat pack tables. Uh, I'm sure a lot of my subscribers know Jang Bricks, so I'd like some tables similar to what he uses. You know, where the legs just screw straight into the table, and then you've got yourself a table. <laughs> you know, the screws. Detachable table legs. There, the, so, there, I'll try again. There are the tables I would like in here, so if I ever did decide to move or change things around I can easily just take the tables down and put them back up somewhere else. I think I would need perhaps at minimum four and if I remember when I've done this little video I'll uh, will go on Argos and see if I can find any. You never know. Argos sells lots and lots of things if you're not familiar with what Argos is, it's a huge, I suppose you'd call it a department store. You can get toys, tools, clothes. Oh, actually, no, I'm not sure. No, you can't get clothes, sorry, but you can get uh, household items like furniture and tables. You can get electrical goods like computers and 
TVs, DVD players, consoles, video games, uh, I've already said toys, various tools, various garden items such as gardening tools and furniture. Uh, but instead of uh, having a shop that you walk into and browse, you'd walk into, well they do have shops, but you don't browse, you go to a catalogue which is set up on the store floor, look for your item that you want in a cat in that catalogue, type the catalogue number into their little sort of computer device they have beside the catalogue, and that will tell you if that store's got it in stock or not. And uh, if it's in stock, you take down your catalogue number on a piece of card which is also provided, go to the checkout or the cashier or whatever you call them where you live uh, and uh, they jot down a catalogue number, confirm the item uh, and they give you a ticket for a collection point because they usually have like three or four collection points and there's some people that work in the warehouse that will get your catalogue number come through and they will go and pick it from the shelves and bring it to the um, front desk for another member of staff to hand over to you. You also pay at the cashier, I forgot to mention that. So you pay at the cashier, they give you your ticket, then you go and wait to be called to um, one of the... Um, Oh, I've forgotten what it's called already. One of the collection points. Because your ticket, is, ticket also has a um, number on it. You're given a number. So you could be given, I don't know, just a random number, 789. Depends where they are on the... I, think, I don't know what number it actually goes up to, so that's just a random number. And uh, when it's your turn to collect, you'll get a computerised voice come over a speaker and say... 789 to your collection point, please. You'll just go pick up your thing and the staff will stamp your receipt so to show it's been collected and you leave. Simple. Decent little store and they do have quite a uh, Lego selection. And they do have a website so you can order on the website and you can reserve items on the website as well. But I think the reservation only lasts 24 four hours might be two days I can't remember it's been a while since I've reserved anything they may have changed it since then but yeah I have used that system to get Lego um, the other th best thing about the website is it will also tell you if your local store's got that item in stock so before if, like me, your nearest store is nine miles away, give or take, instead of wasting money getting on a train or wasting fuel and driving to the nearest store, only to find it's not in stock, I can just go across to my computer and check it on there. <clears throat> it's a good way to get Lego. Actually there is a set I want to order off the Lego site. So I don't think Argos does it. I think I've actually got Argos bookmarked. Yeah I have. Should we have a look? I won't show you what I mean. So this is the main home page. So if I type in the word Lego into their search and hit enter There we go. And I can shop by age, shop by range. Look, look, they've got just about every range on there. Uh, architecture, Bionicle, Chima, City, Classic, Creator, DC, Disney Princess, Duplo, Elves, Friends, Hero Factory, Juniors, Marvel, Minecraft, Minifigures, Mixels, Ninjago, Pirates, Speed Champion, Star Wars, Technic, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and the movie. So, yeah, I think they've got just about every theme, current theme out there. Oh, I didn't see Technic up there. Oh, yeah, there is Technic. Wow. I wonder what they've got in my local store. Actually, what have they got under Lego City? As that's my 
main theme I'm interested in. Oh, they've still got the camper. Oh, I want that camper. See, I'm, like, see, I'm 31, but I act like a little kid when I'm around Lego. Yay, Lego! And I've still got some other sets on here. Oh, the bulldozer I can get in town. I don't need to. Wouldn't need to order that. Mm, these starter sets I've got most of. Got the monster truck. I don't think they got the one I was after. No, they haven't. Oh! What the snow plow! Oh. oh well. Looks like I'll have to, uh And yeah, I'll have to order the, um snow plow from the Lego site, that's all. Hmm. What speed champion sets have they got in stock then? Because that's the other one I've developed an interest in. That's recommended. Ooh, I got a healer one. Ooh. Is it in my local store though? I'm not sure if I'm signed in, am I? Yes, I am signed in. Oh, well, it says reserved to collect in store, so I could actually go and get the McLaren at Thursday if I wanted to. Then that would complete all four single cars. Ah, I've got some of the other sets in. I would love the um, Ferrari truck. Uh, I'm not sure I can get 80 quid to get it. I think I'll get the smaller sets first, as they're cheaper than get that one later in the year. We'll see if Santa Claus will bring an adult child <laughs> some Lego for Christmas. Uh, Lego Classic. Oh, it's the brick boxes. I see. Ooh. That's the box I got last time at the top here. What else have they got? Well, there's a medium. They're good boxes if you just want to add random bits to your collection. Architecture, that's a set I haven't, I've never had an architecture set. So I wouldn't mind investing in one. Oh, they've got the Eiffel Tower. Which isn't in stock. You butts. Yeah, I wouldn't mind trying the, uh, uh architecture theme. What else have they got? They've got the Brandenburg Gate and the White House. Ooh. When it clicks. That is actually a nice looking building. Almost forty pounds though. Hmm. Well, certainly one to think about. Getting an arm ache from holding the camera. Let's have a look what else. Ooh. No, I don't think there's many other, other themes here that would interest me, apart from Technic. I wouldn't mind some Technic sets. I prefer the older Technic sets, though. That's Argos. For some reason it signed me out. Never mind. <laughs> right. Yeah.
Right. Sorry, I got carried away reading there, so I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for watching. And uh, as always, if you like the video, please hit the like button. And if you didn't like it, hit the dislike button. It helps me either way. And any comments and questions in the comments section below. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.